So specifically d discussing immunotherapy in uh, the most common uh, malignant tumor in children and adults, which is called glioblastoma or malignant gliomas, uh, we say we are not there yet. Uh, most children and adults will succumb to their disease and we are looking for new uh, therapies. Some of these new therapies, uh, targeted or immunotherapies, will be maybe less toxic because they will not engage with radiation of chem and chemotherapy that I talked about before. Um, the challenge is to find the subgroup of patients which will actually be eligible to enjoy immunotherapy. And this is what we found. We found that the subgroup which have a lot of mutations, the happy mutant gliomas in children and also in adults, respond dramatically to immune checkpoint inhibition. Uh, in order to find these patients, you need to biopsy them at relapse, which we rarely do. Uh, they can be divided into two groups, genetic predisposition, so children will, which will have the hypermutation because of a germline mutation or inherited mutation, or patients who received therapy, such as a drug called timozolomide, that results in a tumor that will become hypermutant. Both these populations may respond to immune checkpoint inhibitors, and these are the unique stories that we have to tell this year.